Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to episode number 24 of our Bradford City Youth Academy All-Star Series. And in this episode, we will be getting into a game in a second against Bristol City, as you can see. And still, Archie is still hurt, but he will get back into the games at the end of this episode, thankfully enough. And getting into this game at home at the Valley Parade Stadium... Uh, we have a throw-in in the 27th minute. Ratti on the ball, passes it into Payne. Payne cuts inside his defender, shoots, but it goes well wide of the goal. And now only six minutes later, Derbyshire on the ball now, plays it into Baker. Baker beats his man with pace, shoots, but it's right over the net. And now coming into almost halftime, they get a corner, and we can't clear it, but we finally kind of clear it, and we get that ball out of there. And now coming in, only 10 minutes left, Payne on the ball, cutting back inside, dodges a slide tackle, but gets taken out in the process, and that will be a penalty for us, and Baker will uh, step up to take it, puts it in the yellow, and puts it right past the keeper in the roof of the net, and now only a couple minutes left of the game, they have an opportunity, and Kone with a risky pass to Svensson, and uh, coming in to almost ha almost the full game, Bristol City have an opportunity. We do slide tackle, but it goes straight to their player. They play it again to uh, Osborne, I believe, their center back. And he does equalize to make it 1-1 for uh, Bristol City, the equalizer for them. And as you can see, their center back with an amazing goal there. And I guess it was a deserved uh, tie, even though I feel like we should have been able to beat them comfortably they were fifth and we're first so it it, it it was a good game it was a good game and now second game of the episode um against colchester united devil snipers team uh and we are at home and as you can see rufair getting a shot off but can't beat the keeper there only 20 minutes in we have our second opportunity tello going on a little bit of a run an archie run and beats their center back Cuts back inside with the fake shot. Has the finesse shot with his left foot and puts it in the back of the net. Little Archie-esque move right there by Christian Tello to put us 1-0 in the lead in this game. And now only 30 minutes in, uh, Wander on the ball and gets taken out after he wins the ball by Zesmotics. And as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, he does get a red card for that. And we are now one goal ahead and one person ahead as they have 10 men now that Sammy Zesmotics uh, gets a red card. And then um, Christian Tello again with a one-on-one -on -one trying to do exactly what he did in the first half, but passes it across and plays in Fruler Matri. For a little bit of a sweat goal, but he puts it in the back of the net to make it 2-0 to us. As you can see, Tello was going to cut back and shoot again, but he decided to pass it along to Matry. And that's how the game will end, 2-0 to us. Uh, pretty convincing win right there. And then in this game against Crawley Town, I believe it's this game, I think, where Archie said he wanted to play, but he wasn't exactly fit, so I did put him on the bench. So we will be seeing him in this game, hopefully. And now five minutes in, Wassam with an opportunity. With a left-footed finesse shot, Wassam puts it in the back of the net. Their defenders just kind of stopped going for the ball right there. If you see, can see by this replay, look at this. The defenders just like back away, and Wassam with the left-footed finesse shot in the bottom right-hand corner. And now 13 minutes in, um, Crawley Town now have an opportunity to go on and score, but he puts it wide, and I believe he was offsides in that opportunity. And now Payne getting the ball from, I believe that was Bizot. Uh, Payne gets taken out by an awful challenge by uh, Oyabanjo, I believe that is. And I, it, if I can remember, Oyabanjo is from York City, Chris or Cutsy's series, right? I remember him saying Oyabanjo. I, I believe it's him at least. And you'll see a little bit more of him in the coming minutes. But Payne steps up to take it as he did get fouled. Puts it in the yellow again like Baker's and puts it right down the middle in the back of the net to put us 2-0 in the lead in the 32nd minute. And now 37 minutes in, they have a good opportunity. Beats our man, crosses it in the back of the net, but can't find the header on target. And now coming in to almost halftime, Young gets it taken away, and Oya Banjo with a nasty challenge on Rufair 
and that could be his second yellow card of the game, and it is. He is gone with the red card. Oyabanjo gone with a red card, two red or a red card in uh, both matches in this episode so far. And now with some beating a couple of players with some skills, has a shot, but the keeper is there to save it. And now here is the moment you have been waiting for. Archie Bald Hanvel will be coming into the game for uh, Grant Payne. And as you can see there, there's a bit of Rufair, but there is Archie running out in his purple cleats. And now 76 minutes in, right after he came into the game, has a chance to beat by beat his player and just with the pace, he's back. He's ready. He has a bit of skill, tries the shot, but it's blocked. Look at that bit of skill by Archie right there. Now six minutes left, Jacob Keat uh, wins the ball back off their player, plays a huge ball. Beats their player can't quite get onto it, and look who it is, Archie, to put us even more in the lead. And his first goal back from injury, three nil to us with them having a red card. And now almost time, Svensson plays it up to Wissam. Wissam with the through ball to Archie. Can he get there? Of course he can with that 93 pace, rapid, and puts it in the back of the net for his second goal of the game. Two goals in 15 minutes after coming back from injury. I believe that's a bit of a steal right there. Let's go, Archie. And then we come into this game at home against Bury. Two. Um, we are going to sim this one. We will have five uh, games in this episode because we did sim this one. And we should have we should have had a good time against Bury because they are in like 17th or something in the league. But so far, 35 minutes in, nothing happening except for Payne getting a goal to put us 1-0 in the lead. And now after halftime, nothing really happening except for a yellow card by Tello. And then Archie comes off four with some, with some in the game now. And 75 minutes in, 15 minutes left, they do get a goal to make it 1-1. And that is unfortunately how the game will end. Even though Bury aren't the best team, we did draw them 1-1. I believe we still are either in first or second place. I think we're in first going into this game against Yeovil Town. And Archie will be starting this game. As you can see him on the ball in the 35th minute. Turns his man. Just keeps running. Doing the Archie way. Gets a big touch right there. Cuts back inside onto his right foot. And just puts it in the bottom right hand corner. After getting taken out by the keeper. But that doesn't matter. Archie will keep going. Making it 1-0 in the 36th minute. And that is his third goal in like a half. So Archie's going strong. Santalab now getting on the ball. Has a shot and just rockets it in the back of the net. Past the goalkeeper. Right past the goalkeeper's head. Um, with only 15 minutes left. Looks like this will be uh, the game intact. But look at this again. Santalab just putting it right past the keeper. Rockets it. And then they have a corner which Kone heads out. And then Dugdale Wander wins it. Plays a good through ball. Payne plays another through ball to Archie, and Archie is 1v1 with the keeper, and what's going to happen? Archie's going to put it away, and that is the game, set, and match. 3-0 to us against Yeovil away from home, and Archie, two goals in both games. He has been back so far. Look at this again. 27 goals for Archie so far this season. What an absolute lad he has been and now they have a chance and they they score they get a consolation goal you know 3-1 would have liked the uh, clean sheet but you know you can't ha win them all so Santa Lab gets a goal but uh, Archie does get the two goals and now we are going into January January 1st the transfer window which will be in the next episode where there will be a squad report you scouts Everything will be in that episode, but until then, I will see you guys next time.